YouTube, what is going on? We got a flyover. It's a hunt video and uh, maybe more. So uh, stay tuned and check out the entire video. We are at Walmart. We're gonna see if we can find anything new today. If you're new to the channel or you haven't already subscribed, Ken Pool Live here on YouTube, also on Instagram at Ken Pool Live. Let's go check out and see what we can see find inside and uh, let's get the video started. We are getting closer to the collector section. I uh, got a little elf thing there. That's kind of interesting. Toy, Christmas, story. There's Pee Wee, Stan Lee, and a little bit of a markdown. Nightmare on Elm Street, Q Fig. Still got some Battle of the Bands, Back to the Future, all kinds of big fig pins. Uh, check this out little restock. Been seeing people find in turtles. There is our Splinter Shredder 2 pack. Uh, the many faces of Pennywise. That thing is scary. I don't even want to touch the box to fix it. <laughs> King Kong Gremlins. Got uh, Candyman there. Little Teen Wolf. Anime. Demon. All kinds of Gundams. Good amount of Gundams. Got our Bloodsport Unmasked. Dr. Fate there. Best Action. Lord of the Rings. Got a little Slash. Not bad. Got some Best Action. Q Fix. Little Gold. Got uh, plenty of LeBron James. What else do we got? Uh, got this big old monkey just hanging out. Got some cases. Good morning. Some different book bags. Star Trek Eternals. Little carry there. All kinds of Walmart exclusives. 10 inch pops. Not bad for uh, the collector's area this morning. More Q figs. She -ra. got some wrestlers there. A little Roman Reigns, Stone Cold. There's our in sync box. I know people were excited about that last video. Seinfeld getting a little marked down. And we got some different uh, little glow in the dark, Pet Cemetery. Some different movies and shows. All right, let's uh, look around and probably head over to the main toy aisle. Didn't want y'all to miss this uh, BTS box set. <laughs> Look at all those pops. That's crazy. Gremlins. Uh, 10 inch pops. Got some of our Fortnite from Hasbro. Lynx. Midas Rex. Got our uh, Shark. So those are pretty cool. Uh, more best action. Haven't seen any of the uh, Turtle Brothers yet in best action, but uh, we still got some gremlins and a lot of different uh, anime. Got some spawn here, but uh, now let's head over to the main toy aisle. Got a pile of uh, Grogu there. Little uh, bring home the bounty display. That's not, uh, not bad. Not sure about this Grogu. Let me know if y'all are uh, picking it up. 
we do have some of our three and three quarter inch looks like carbonite characters there so that's pretty cool let's walk on over and uh see what we're gonna find today got some ghostbusters set up there a little bit of mission fleet got some mario kart nice yoshi luigi mario there some games and stuff we got the aliens just chilling uh these probably would have been better over in the collector's area but you yeah, know it's all toys right little power rangers there godzilla and kong more mario got yoshi mario toad got a frankenstein lady j his tank more ghostbusters eternal still got plenty of ajax there Bend and Flex, Turbo Man times two. King Shazam, the Demon, Avatar. Just uh, little things here and there at the store. Dino Gold, Piggy. More Mission Fleet, <laughs> more Gogu. Uh, apparently the the end cap or the display wasn't enough. But yeah, check out those little droids. Those are cool. Got our real basic Star Wars figures there. Uh, a little magic in the aisle. Halo. Not a bad little Halo display. Got a big old Batman. Some Masters of the Universe there as well. Battle Cat, Skeletor, all kinds of classic characters going on. Uh, we even got some of the Mega Constructs, a couple AEW, there's uh, Kenny Omega, Britt Baker, I don't think those are the right uh, spots but we'll put them on the pegs got an nxt title got some basic figures look at the old uh freddy oh man <laughs> classic so yeah not too much going on with wrestling uh let's go around and uh we'll see what's in the next aisle just uh just for fun Let's see what we got down here. Legos. I haven't uh, put them in the glass cases yet. Some more basic Star Wars. Uh, tech decks. There's some more Mario. So we got like the figures over here. And then we got more of the carts. Piggy snuck over here. Look at this little uh, Minions car. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, little tracks. And that's about it. I think that's probably Hong Kong battle. That's a cool little God Godzilla. I think that's probably going to do it. Ah, right. Or... Lucha Brothers, Penta. That's a cool looking figure. All right, that's gonna do it for this Walmart. Ninja Turtle movie figures, been seeing some restocks, so pretty cool to uh, see some <clears throat> Shredder Splinter back at Walmart. Uh, collector's area, quite a few things, so definitely uh, be checking out those collectors areas see what you can find at your Walmart pretty cool um, no pickups today didn't uh, didn't scoop anything up but uh, we're gonna keep 
looking around at different stores so definitely stay tuned more hunt videos of course but we're gonna go back to the toy room and uh, we're gonna get into part two of our Valverse Action Force Series 1 delivery. Let's go! We're going to start off with our Swarm Trooper. Uh, definitely digging the colors and uh, the head is a pretty cool design for this figure. You got the middle, the bright uh, kind of yellowish green and then uh, just the holster and uh, being able to hold the knife and everything pretty cool setup design for the figure everything in the box you got the action force stand which is very nice eight sets of hands uh, right out of the package closed fist but we got uh, two left and right uh, trigger fingers which is nice we got these open uh, hands which is good for like uh, holding on to the, uh, the barrel of the gun so you can kind of get the hand underneath and hold uh, the machine guns the rifles and then you just have a normal kind of holding hands uh, if you want to hold like some kind of like a sword or a bat or some kind of uh, knife type of weapon so that's pretty cool so eight different uh, options for left and right hands we do have a knife which has its own uh, Easily just turn this guy around and bam right in there. Knife is ready to go. Handgun. Cool looking. Definitely like the design of that. That goes in easy enough right here and then we also have the uh, rifle which is a nice little piece especially if you're gonna kind of army build and uh, have some heavier artillery for the figure but uh, let me know in the comments what do you think of the swarm trooper I think we'll check out uh, the gear pack next Swarm gear set. Uh, pretty cool illustration there on the front. And then there is our set. Four pieces. You have a backpack, wings, shield, and uh, two weapons inside this pack. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look-see. that you rip open and never use again but uh, these are definitely helpful for uh, gear and all of the different like this the shield if you didn't want to use the shield uh, just to be able to store it in uh, this plastic baggie it's definitely helpful there's a backpack looking pretty cool uh, I did not know there's a uh, action force that's that, that cool little uh, 
stand, so all these figures coming in stands definitely makes it easy to uh, kind of set them up. So that is pretty cool. Here's our stand. Let's take a look at, look at that even like a small little weapons pack. So helpful. Definitely helpful. So got uh, like a grenade launcher. Pretty cool. Definitely the black and then you got those swarm colors in there. So that is pretty cool. Nice little touch. And I would say machine gun here. Again, uh, pretty nicely done. And uh, the paints to match up. Our shield, this is pretty cool. Yeah, kind of like the swarm there and can hold on to that very nice that is pretty cool uh, backpack again look at that uh, detail like uh, pretty cool Definitely enjoying what they're doing with like the wings and the shield and the plastic. And then uh, the rest of the design looks pretty good. Here's our swarm trooper. And we got uh, the pig there. And just kind of pigs in the back. And uh, you got yourself a little fly in trooper. Into battle, aerial assault. I did take uh, the hands out, didn't know which ones we would be using with uh, the accessories. So let me uh, pop on a couple hands and let's go ahead and uh, get this guy ready for uh, battle. Alright, so we got a real simple look here. Gonna ahead and use the trigger hand for the machine gun, the open hand for our shield, and then pegged in our backpack. Uh, pretty good look at uh, that figure stand, but yeah, look at this guy. All geared up, ready to... Uh, land in and assist the swarm troopers little aerial uh, drop if you would either uh, flying or uh, kind of like a drop troop not necessarily a paratrooper but uh, pretty cool some of the fun that you can have with the extra accessories Definitely a nice little addition for the Swarm Trooper, but uh, not to say that it uh, wouldn't work with other 1 12th scale figures with uh, the backpack, the shield, uh, the guns are definitely real easy to kind of work with and uh, use on G.I. Joe Classified Marvel Legends. Definitely done that in the past. But uh, let me know what do you think of this gear set. How did it compare to our other gear sets from our first video? And uh, would you be purchasing a Swarm Trooper and a set? Um, we are talking about an additional fee for the gear. So by the time you get the figure and the set, you're uh, basically building yourself like a almost a little bit of a deluxe figure but uh, let me know what you think in the comments and then uh, come on back and we're gonna look at our exclusive wasp reader welcome back this was the botcon exclusive action force wasp reader check it out there is 
the card. If you want to pause and uh, kind of see the uh, different information about the character, uh, definitely Troop Builders. You can see the file name unknown and uh, the various birth dates, ranks unknown, swarm. So uh, pretty cool. And the top, all of our series one figures. Definitely stay tuned, we'll be uh, finishing up our main characters pictured up top, probably in the next video or so. But there you go, 0107, Wasp Raider, that uh, green looks uh, pretty, pretty cool compared to our yellowish on the Swarm figure. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the box and uh, show you what we're working with. Our last figure we have the Wasp Raider and uh, definitely an awesome repaint. We have the same body from the Trooper but the reuse is uh, very very cool. Uh, check out the eyes there. And then uh, just the green, the yellows, and uh, the blacks. I think they did a real good job giving you a pretty cool exclusive figure. And we got our jetpack there. So the blue, the green, and uh, black and yellow. Again, just some cool use. Now this guy again came with the jetpack and an exclusive so almost like a deluxe figure. Let me show you the action force stand if I won't wreck everything. That looks pretty cool. A little different design. Looks good with the figure. You got the rifle. Repaint. Knife. Got the gun. They went with uh, all black, which looks pretty cool. And then you have the eight different uh, hand sculpts to choose from. Close fist out of the package, but uh, you got trigger fingers for either hand. You got these nice open hands for ripping getting underneath the rifle or the machine guns and then you got your open hand for holding like the shield the, the sword a knife so uh, definitely a lot of different options with those hands all right come on back and uh we'll finish up here they are all together. We have our Swarm Trooper, our Swarm Trooper with the Swarm set gear, and our Wasp Raider. The fun thing about the gear, uh, I loaded up the uh, Wasp Raider, so kind of like a boss battle, almost like uh, Firefly from Batman. Got the, the little grenade launcher plus the wings, so uh, that's kind of fun. Plus, I think the yellow still works really well with uh, the figure based on the yellow that did make it back on the figure. The shield looks great, the gun with our normal trooper, and then uh, just our normal trooper with the handgun on their side and the rifle is a pretty good look for your shelf, toy photography, uh, anything that you're looking to put together at the 112 scale. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, comment and share. If you haven't already, jump into the Kent Pool Live, we're having a lot of fun here on YouTube, also over on Instagram, at Kent Pool Live working towards that 10K in 2022. 
So uh, definitely jump in and uh, have some fun with us. We're uh, out there toy hunting, Action Force, G.I. Joe Classified Series, Marvel Legends, all kinds of great stuff at uh, the 112 scale this uh, coming year. But uh, let me know in the comments what do you think of Action Force, what do you think of the Swarm, the Gear Pack, and our exclusive. Definitely a lot of fun with these uh, figures. And uh, like, comment, and share the video. Until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting. Oh, 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 oh,